Yo guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a review on the Team of the Year Kevin De Bruyne card. Now this review is a very special one, allowed to me from my friend Greek G on his account. We're going to be using his team. We're going to go through the player, his detailed stats, clips, summary, all that good stuff. Before we get into all of that, if I could ask you guys to please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell so you know when I upload and comment down below who you'd like me to review next. Also guys, hit that like button on that comment to show some love for Greek G as well. And without further ado, let's get into the video. So guys, this is the team that we used Kevin De Bruyne in. We played him in a 4-4-2 alongside that Patrick Vieira card. Please do check out the review as well. Um, guys, overall first impressions of this card, he was absolutely fantastic. And this player really is one of the best players in the game, as would be expected with a team of the year card. You guys can see 5-11, high, high work rates, four star skill moves and five star weak fit. So really just a fantastic overall midfielder. You look at those face stats, he's absolutely sensational as well. Grigi put a shadow on him to kind of boost his defending and his pace and allow him to be a bit better in all of the transitional game from defense to attack finally the key stats guys as you guys can see great across the board um, absolutely sensational in that regard as well i mean the key ones of course the passing the dribbling great on those fronts his pace is a bit of a con but can be boosted with the chemistry style so not too much of an issue and in terms of chemistry styles you've got plenty as well you guys can see the playmaker trait outside the foot shot trait uh, long shot taker, long passer, all of those fantastic for him if you're like that. Um, so really great card to use. Without further ado, we're going to get into some of the clips that we got with him. So guys, getting into some of Kevin De Bruyne's clips. And what you guys are going to see here is a real mix of what this guy is uh, capable of in an attacking sense. I mean, guys, he was good at the attacking sense. And then what else you're going to see is his ability to defend as well. And that was something that was really great about this card. And is to be expected. And it's true of the team of the year, Bruno, as well, is that these team of the year midfielders can defend as well as they can attack especially with that shadow chemistry style what ended up happening was you have two great transitional midfielders in Vieira and De Bruyne able to play both the attacking side and the defending side which allows you to move with one or the other without a worry that your defense will be left exposed I mean there you guys can see again the lovely passing range the ability to dribble between defenders and things like that and that was the key theme of this card guys was that He's just excellent everywhere. I mean, there's only so much I can say about this card in terms of his key pros and cons, um, but overall, you guys will be able to see his general tracking back, his general tackling play, passing like that there. The weight on the ball is sensational, um, and he just played fantastically overall for us. Now, guys, getting into one key con, which, of course, would have been the pace with this card. You guys can obviously remedy that with uh, any sort of pacing chemistry style. Um, Guys, I don't think this is too much of an issue with this card, uh, especially given that you can fix it with the counter style. I actually think his base pace is not too bad, um, but uh, it does definitely help having that chemistry style on him and allowing him to be able to run with a bit more speed, especially in that midfield area where things do move so quickly. You can make great recoveries and put in good challenges and passes with this card. Um, guys, previously as well on other Kevin De Bruyne cards, what I found is you can't really dribble with the card. Um, you have to play a lot more passes with the card than you would normally. Um, with this card, you certainly can dribble. This card is fantastic for dribbling um, and is really good just in general at doing the defensive side of the game as well as the dribbling part. Uh, his agility is totally fine. His balance is absolutely fantastic. And you guys are going to see some of the goals that we scored with him. Um, absolutely sensational goals as well. I mean, there's a good run there thinking it past the keeper there with the left foot finish a lovely free kick here and in this final clip here guys you guys are going to see from start to finish wins the ball back here driving through that midfield holding the man off with great strength now here again we look like we're a bit short there gets into the box there lovely little turn here lovely little turn again and a finish into the back of the net so guys getting to this final kevin de bruyne summary 2.16 on the playstation 1.79 or 1.8 on the xbox 2.64 on the pc guys not a cheap card again by any stretch of the imagination but if we just look at the stats guys i've never seen so many dark greens on a card like genuinely other than bruno fernandez this is absolutely insane i mean it's fantastic at shooting passing and dribbling as would be expected of a Kevin De Bruyne card, combine that with 99 stamina. This card is fantastic across the board. I'm not even going to pick out the key pros of this card. In terms of the cons though, guys, you do have to boost that pace. Definitely something I would recommend doing. Depending on where you're going to play him, guys, there is uh, two ways you can go about this. In, in all honesty, I would actually play him at the defensive midfield or central midfield position in your team. I would not play him at the attacking midfield simply because he can do the defensive aspect, um, which leads to my recommended chemistry, which if you put a shadow on him, guys, all of a sudden you have 83 defending, which is more than reasonable 
comfortable, a high level of pace, um, and a really good level of defending, which is really important for me. I think that if you can turn this card into something that it isn't uh, naturally by his positioning, but then can use him in that way and get good results out of him, and then you can fit another interesting player into your squad, then that's the best way to use this player for me. I think he's absolutely fantastic in that regard. Guys, in terms of similar players, uh, Zidane is a very good shout, actually. He's very similar to this Zidane, who, from what I've seen of other people's cards. Of course, I've never used him. Um, he is, of course, very similar to Bruno Fernandes. The size difference is really the only thing between those two. Uh, Bruno, obviously, a bit smaller and more mobile in that regard. But overall, I think pretty much the same kind of player. In terms of linkability, guys, you got some nice links there uh, to Raheem Sterling's recently released inform. Uh, of course, his team, the group stage card, Riyad Mahrez's headliner, Bernardo Silva's uh, inform, or Freeze card, as well as Sergio Aguero's card, and he does have a flashback as well. Somewhere amongst all these, there you go, uh, Gabriel Jesus's card or John Stones even as well. You can link this card so many ways um, that it's really fun to build this card into your team if you can afford it. Finally, my recommendation as to whether you guys should buy this card or not. Guys, it's a super expensive card. If you can afford to put him in your team and you can find a way to build around him, this this really is, of course, as it's going to be one of the best players in the game, an end game player. Uh, he will be end game right through to the end of FIFA because, of course, he is team of the year, which is the best cards of the year. Um, I think, of course, if you can build around this guy, he'll be the jewel in your team. You'll never have to change him out again. You'll only modify the team around him. And I think he'll be a fantastic player for your squad if you can get your hands on him. Hope you guys did enjoy this review. If you did, please do smash that like button. And until next time, I'll see you all in a bit.